Hello there. My name is Valery Kesab and um, I am a founder of a small non-profit organization that is called Open Doors Slavic Ministries and we are on the web at kesov.org and um, I have been doing a lot of work for the past three or four years as far as fundraising goes and um, it has led me to um, contact the billionaires by the mail to ask them to support the organization um, to help us fulfill our specific purpose and the specific purpose of our ministry is to bring a life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ into the hearts and minds of Slavic people worldwide and uh, presently what we're doing is uh, we have a kitchen uh, for the homeless in Ukraine and we provide them with food um, and we teach them about Jesus Christ we tell them that Jesus loves them and um, I can tell you my friend my heart breaks out for these people because many Ukrainians they die in very young age many of them die um, the man um, is uh, age 58 this is the average age because um, they have a drinking problem over there many of them die without Jesus Christ because of alcohol because of other addictions and it's so cold in Ukraine and uh, they sure need the light of Jesus Christ um, I'm gonna show you the letter that I sent to these people, uh, to the billionaires. Basically, it looks like this. The letter is on a company letterhead. And um, I asked them to help me go and preach the gospel. I asked them to help me to donate an amount of money to our ministry so we could purchase a building in Moscow where we could take care of these homeless people where we could feed them where we can provide them with food and uh, the reason why I like my proposition is because we would not require any cent in additional support from these billionaires if we would receive the main amount uh, this would be enough for us to continue our project you know if we get this sum of money from them uh, which I was asking for and we could purchase a big building in Russia uh, we could lease half of the building and this would help us this would cover all of our expenses as far as the food goes as far as the taking care of these people goes uh, as far as the employees expenses you know it will be a very really tremendous amount and Unfortunately, um, I have received a bad response from uh, T. Boone Pickens Foundation. Basically, uh, maybe you are familiar with T. Boone. This is one of the uh, one of the billionaires in the United States today. This is a person who has uh, oil companies, and um, on his letterhead it says here T. Boone Pickens Foundation supporting the exemplary efforts of extraordinary people T. Boone Pickett, he is the chairman of that organization and I'm going to show you a copy of that letter basically um, what they say here is Reverend Dr. Valery Kessam thank you for writing and requesting possible funding for Mr. Pickens and the T. Boone Pickens Foundation. I'm sorry we are not accepting any new requests or proposals. Due to the markets in August of 2008, the trustees closed all giving. At this time, there are not opened any opportunities for contribution. Although we are unable to be of assistance at this time, we extend every good wish to you and your efforts. Well, and it's, it is signed here by the Director of Community Affairs, Marty J. Carlin. And uh, this letter was received to me from Dallas in Texas. You know, I'm so, I mean, thank you for the letter, Mr. Pickens. 
T. Boone Pickens, thank you for the, your denial letter, but you know, it's really something that I did not expect, you know, I was, there, re there was a reason why I contacted you, because I heard you're a billionaire and uh, you have all this money, why not give it to help the poor and um, I have a great idea, I have a good track record, you know, um, my organization, it does so much for the Slavic people and unfortunately I cannot help all of them. One of the people who was receiving uh, uh, food at our center, later I find out that he died frozen on the street. He was died and he froze on the street, you know, and it so much breaks my heart. And nobody cares for these people, even the Ukrainian government, Russian government, they don't provide help to these people. Um, it's it's very bad situation there right now. And uh, when America great gets a crisis, financial crisis, uh, people lose jobs just like that over there. You know, it's so much worse over there. No help, nobody to turn to. The only thing they can do is pray, and um, God sends us their way. And uh, my precious friend, I'm gonna ask you today if your heart is open to help us fulfill this great commission. If you, if your heart is open uh, to donate, I'm gonna ask you to make a donation today so we could continue doing the work that we're doing in Ukraine and Russia. And you can make a contribution uh, online to our website at kesov.org and uh, your contribution is 100% tax deductible and you will receive a um, letter that you can use uh, it's a receipt that you can use uh, for your tax return to write all the taxes because we are a 501c3 organization and uh, may God bless you richly and if you want to go, if you want to volunteer if you want to go to Ukraine, if you want to go to Russia and volunteer if you want to help us over there to pass out the soups, help us to distribute the food, if you want to help us to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, um, you know, I urge you to contact us today and uh, this is something that we can do. And may God bless you richly in your life, in your family, in your business. Bye-bye. Um,